Hey guys, my name is Berlin, and this is a story on how I started using Notion for school and everyday life, basically. I used to buy so many notebooks in a year, I honestly don't end up using all of them. I went from pre made planners to creating my own, buying notebooks specifically for different subjects and journaling. I've since put them away and discovered Notion. Notion is free for students with a .edu email address. Even then, their pricing is free and really cheap. Learning how to use Notion is such a game changer. I use it for everything now instead of buying notebooks, which is not a bad thing either. After having Notion for a year, I prefer to organize my life this way now. Nowadays, I get ready to handle school during a pandemic over Zoom calls, so I mainly take notes on Notion while I listen to lectures. I can use it on my laptop, phone, and iPad, which comes super handy. Now it's time for a quick lesson on how to use Notion if you don't already know how. So if you're wondering how to use Notion, I pretty much put down the basics on this page. You can see I added an image, I added some emojis, basic text, to-do list, bullet point, a toggle, I even added a divider, you can add headings of different sizes, you can add columns, move them around. If you wanted to get rid of a column, you can just drag it to the bottom. If you wanted to re-add columns, you can drag the block to the side until you see a separator. You can continue adding columns that way, and you can adjust how far and how close you want your columns to be next to each other. You can add files, and this is where a notion gets super fancy because you can add pages within pages. You can add inline blocks, so here I have an inline table, inline board, an inline calendar. You can add pages within a date of the calendar. If you wanted to extend an event, you can just drag it. And if you wanted to view what was in that page, just click on it. You can end PDF files and view them in page. You can end a video and view that as well. You can end tweets. You can end a website where you can have a visual representation of it. You can also end a Google map. And you can add quotes even. That's pretty much the gist of Notion. You can experiment with the different blocks that they have to offer. You can do this by forward slashing and scrolling through their list. There's so many to choose from, but if you already know the block that you want to add, you can just forward slash and type it. If you wanted to bold a certain word, all you have to do is highlight it and your option will pop up for bold, italicize, underline, strike, or even hyperlink a word. You can add a block underneath or above. You can even change the color and highlight your text. If you wanted to change the text style, for example, they have default, serif, and mono. You can also change the width of your page and change the text size. How I use Notion as a personal planner, I basically created two columns where the left side are all of my months and the right side are monthly reflections. I got inspiration from this because I've had previous planners that have little reflections at the end of each month and I thought it was great to add in my Notion. When you click on an actual month, you'll find a focus for the month and different sections where I like to keep track of important dates, time off, and birthdays. And when I click on a daily page, I get a daily template. All of this can pretty much be found as a blank slate at the front of the planner page where at the bottom I have a daily template, a weekly agenda template, and a monthly template. You can also drag and drop a month that's completed in the archive page. So when I click on weekly agenda template, 
you can find that there's all the weeks in the month. I went up to week 5 just because I know some weeks overlap each other. And then there's also a monthly template that's blank. Uh, this is great because if I want to create a new calendar year, I'll just go here and copy it. I like to use Notion as a binder replacement in a way because I can duplicate a class template for each class that I have. I can also add notes and do a little space repetition calendar at the end as well. The first half of this class template is inspired by Janice Studies, so please check her out on YouTube. She has great videos on digital studying and digital note taking. So on the bottom half of the class template, I have two sections for notes just because I like to rewrite my notes. But when you click on a note template, you get a Cornell style note and you can also add more notes. I use Notion as a daily journal as well because I buy way too many journals and I don't <laughs> use all of them in the year. So we're just going to stick with this. And when I click on the year, I go to a new month and I can write a new journal entry. And I basically can write morning thoughts, night thoughts, things I'm grateful for. So back to the month, I can keep track of my moods. Here I did an inline table and I just wrote a bunch of moods that I think I go through um, in a month. So hopefully that can help me keep track and be more accountable for myself. I also use Notion as a place to store my resumes and cover letters. I can put down things that I want to return to, such as negotiating, interview skills, and even link my LinkedIn profile. And here I can keep up with any applications or work experience, clinical experience, licensure, certifications, any memberships or additional activities that I've done throughout my time in school and my career. I'm using Notion as a travel planner because I can keep track of my itinerary on here. If you also want to use Notion as a travel planner, you can put all of the things that you need for your trip, such as a Google map and flight information, transportation, accommodations. And I put an inline table so I can keep track of the locations that we visit, as well as the address and just anything that we need to know about it. You can keep adding tables depending on how long you're staying. I put a budget tracker as a separate page just because I like to keep track of who paid for what and this is really helpful for me when I'm traveling in a big group. I can keep duplicating a blank travel template for any future trips that I plan to take. Everything else that I use Notion for is basically just life organization and I got pages from Notion's templates that are already pre-made. So this is their life wiki and I added some pages for things that I want to keep track of. There's also a workout page and I just do this so I could go to a specific month and track workouts this way. And there's also a list where I keep track of things that I want to remember. So if I visit a website, I can save it on Notion on my phone or my Google Chrome and I can just basically find it here. All right guys, that's the end of this video. I know it was really chatty and just a lot of things that I wanted to personally go over because I don't know what you guys know and I wanted to be able to answer as much depth as I can about this complex but amazing tool. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I am also on Instagram. I post a lot more personal blogging stuff on there and this is just also, I guess, my other platform on YouTube. So check me out on there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.